hello good morning everyone today so i'm going to talk about this foundation subject of first year where i teach the unit 6 that is a theoretical foundation of nursing so i am teaching this today and uh, if you have doubt in between you can put up into the comment box and uh, do let me know how this video is helpful for you or not okay so we'll start the class so the content of this class will be the first is domain of nursing theory what is nursing theory domains are the parts so what are the parts of nursing theories and then we will be talking about interdisciplinary theories a very small quick what it is I'm not going to deal with other theories if you want me to make some other theories classes I would like to make it if you really need it so the next topic thing is selected nursing theories and some of the nursing theories I will be talking about and this all theories will be of uh, yeah nursing only and uh, for the first year BSc nursing level I will be discussing some of the theories very few theories I will be talking about if you need a detailed class on that do let me know I will make a separate classes for the each theory and the very important is link between the theory and knowledge development in nursing so let's start our class today so the domains of nursing theories so there are so many of nursing theories which we are studying into my period also into my teaching period also which i am teaching to my students so there are domains there are the part of nursing theory how it is occur like how the nursing theory which is formed how it made so there are some parts so let's discuss so before knowing the domains we must know what is domain itself so what is domain domain is a perspective of a profession so it is a one type of a perspective means telling about the profession like what are the part of that profession if we are talking about nursing profession so what are the parts of that nursing professions so as a whole domains will be going to provide a subject matter a central concept the values and beliefs the phenomena of interest and the central problem of a discipline like what are the problems what are the phenomena and uh, what are the main values and beliefs of that profession also the domain of nursing provide practical and theoretical aspect of the discipline like we are talking about nursing so it the domains of it will not only linking the theory part it will link it with the practice area whatever you are learning you are doing it practicing it on your clients okay so the next part is history like how does this nursing theory came and uh, how the evolution of nursing profession occurs in the beginning nursing profession was not uh, itself a uh, independent profession it was a profession which comes under the um, which comes under the paramedics the foundation of any profession is the development of a specialized body of knowledge very important whenever a profession is founded there is some body of knowledge which should be kept then only the profession itself is called as a or a, a discipline is itself called as a profession so the nursing profession relied on the theories from other discipline in the beginning when the profession nursing profession was in the paramedical merits it is not having their own disciplines own theories so these theories are taken from medicine psychology sociology as the basis of the practice so as a holistic view the client is seen on this area like uh, the theories are taken from the medicine area the theories are taken from the psychology how the thinking process occur how the memory occurs and the sociology how the person or individual interact with each other now for nursing to define its activity and develop its research it must have their own body of knowledge so this is what i was talking about uh, in the beginning there was no own body uh, knowledge so the nursing was uh, comes under the paramedics but now nursing itself create their body of knowledge and they become an independent profession so this profession comes 
I think everybody aware about Florence Nightingale. The Florence Nightingale who is who has started the nursing theory and describes uh, and describe and uh, somewhere massage the dilemmas what to do and what not to do. This is very important thing. The profession itself should not tell only what are the things you should do. No, there are some legal and ethical issues which occur in each and every profession. So we should be aware what not to do. What is against our uh, laws and uh, like we should not take any bribe from anyone and uh, Florence Nightingale she started the nursing education in the beginning so we will be talking about nursing profession in coming years now comes the main concept is what is theory now itself if we talk about from the Oxford dictionary I have made this slides that a system of idea intended to explain something especially one based on general principle something is there how it is occurring the principle is there how that principle or a phenomena is occurring this is called a theory now the another definition which has been given it is an organized set of related ideas and concept that help us to find meaning in our experience organize our thinking around an idea and develop a new idea and insight into the work we do i know it is very big definition which you can break so it is just an only a uh, set of ideas what things comes into your mind and the concepts in order to provide a meaningful manner to any experience and organize whatever coming into your mind organize it make an idea develop an idea and whatever you are working you should have an insight on that so this is what the theory is defining okay so the theories are based on the fact but not itself a fact so it's not that the theories are uh, uh, formed today they can never be changed or they can never be refined no it is it does based on the fact but itself it is not a fact okay so yes the with the reality with the experience with the things the things are evolving and the theory is being changed so it is a way of viewing a phenomena so what is theory like how the things are occurring so the phenomena the thing the cycle which is occurring so it is telling about the reality how this occur it defines the concept and their linkage how the concept has been occurred and how the, what is the link of creating that concept and it is ever being changing so it's dynamic it's not static so a main theory if we like we have talked about a lot about the theories if we concisely mention so it is a set of concept the definitions the models the prepositions and assumptions that project a systemic view of a phenomena if any phenomena is occurring so what is the concept what is the definition what is the preposition what are the assumptions of occurrence of that phenomena now the main three domains of this theory is concept definition assumptions or preposition so this is the for, um, uh, like uh, diagram which you can easily remember that one phenomena is occurring so the phenomena which has to be occur occur depends upon the three things these are the first is definition the second is your concept and the third one is the assumptions or prepositions so let's talk about the concepts so what is concept concept is an idea and a mental image that helps to describe a phenomena something is coming into your mind and these are the mental image if i say like a bulb is there okay a bulb which is uh, like we can say a bulb is switch on so we always create a mind that one bulb is there and if it is on means there will be a yellow light which is emitting because in the beginning itself the has been made that uh, brightening something brightening is there so we will make a image of that now the definition convey the journal meaning of the same concept if what is concept and how we can define that is called as a definition of the domain of the theory now the models now what is the model itself we say something which is made into a imagination so this is a presentation of showing a pattern like i say a model of a bulb so something is coming that is a concept and how we are presenting it into the manner that is called as a model next is prepositions so prepositions are the statement that explain the relationship between the concept now what concept which has been made because of the images of the uh, mind so to giving a statement 
or explaining that concept is called as a prepositions assumptions statement that describe the concept preposition and assumptions are taken as side by side so assumption what we are thinking and how we are explaining the concept whatever coming into your mind the phenomena phenomena is an aspect of reality that can be concisely sensed or experienced so something is occurring like i feel like something is uh, happening on my body so i can feel that so how that occur that is comes under the phenomena okay now the next very important thing is the phenomena can be seen into two ways there are two types of reasoning inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning so inductive reasoning can be like whatever is occurring so you have a rationally for that that is inductive so, so you are doing something and you are creating a rationally that is called as inductive but you have a rationally and then you are creating something that is called as a deductive okay so the example of inductive we can see here that one uh, stuff is there which she is saying that uh, the patient's wbc uh, count is increased and when she checked the B, uh, temperature it was raised so in inductive reasoning what she thought the wbc is raised and she is a, a, that patient or a client is having a temperature might be there is a infection which is present in the patient now let's see the same example into a deductive reasoning what will happen the here the things are going side by side patient is having infection so i think the blood test has to be done in order to check the wbc count so this is a infection from infection we are doing the wbc count checking that is called as a deductive reasoning now the next question comes what is theory and what is a model and how we can take it into a side by side so theory i told you before also it is a statement that develop through a process of continued abstraction or a concept it is generalized statement aimed at explaining the phenomena whatever the phenomena is occurring to explanation of that phenomena is called as a theory whereas model on the other hand is a purposeful representation of reality suppose i say to you make a model of a water plant so whatever is a reality you are make representing into a smaller way that is called as a model okay but theory it explain the phenomena of occurring it okay and model is just a representation of reality into some purposeful manner now the what is paradigm next question comes what is paradigm so we have completed with the domains so there are three domains these are definition prepositions assumptions and the your concepts now paradigm so very like uh, often i have seen the people are having a def, uh, def, like uh, some uh, doubt regarding the paradigm so paradigm word came from the meaning that two words that is para and digam para means beside something and digam means to show so something has happened how it has happened that is called as a paradigm like suppose i got an infection i got an infection how i got an infection that comes under the paradigm okay there are many reason which cause me an infection so that is called as a paradigm so a nursing paradigm when we talk about nursing paradigm a nursing paradigm is a concept that has developed over time from the belief and practice of professional in the healthcare sector okay so the paradigms itself is a concept like so many years of experience are there which is causing a person to think more 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 abstract okay so this is comes in the nursing paradigm and according to nursing theories what they have defined this paradigm a nursing paradigm is a pattern that shows the relationship now uh, in nursing we have a four paradigms divided into four things so this is first is the person itself second is environment third is a nurse and fourth one is a health okay so according to nursing theory these paradigms are the pattern these are the pattern like how the infection occur in a person okay so what are the pattern why this occur so this is called in coming slides i will teach you how the paradigm shows the uh, effect on the nursing theories so likewise the another word is their meta paradigm now paradigm we have talk about that is a beyond something okay to show something beyond which is occurred and meta paradigm is involvement of all that is called as a meta paradigm so this uh define and describe the relationship between the major ideas and values what are the major ideas and values it describe that 
paradigms okay so let's talk about the nursing meta paradigm the nursing meta paradigms are mainly four the first one is person itself the client okay something like i got a infection so i am a person okay so a person who is a person who required a nursing care who required a nursing care it can be in any form like we always provide a holistic care of nursing so it is a physical spiritual psychological social cultural come and include the not only for a person but also for a family as well as for the community so the first one paradigm is person the client itself the second one is environment second one is environment this environment doesn't mean only the external environment no your internal environment your external environment and the circumstances how it affects the person the next thing is health the health is a degree of wellness how much you are well or ill experienced by the person if i am a client how uh, illness or wellness i am feeling about that is called my health and the nursing is refers to the action characteristics and attribute of a individual providing the nursing care so this is called your these are the four things so i can give you one example suppose i got a infection so the first meta paradigm is a person which i myself okay i am a client i can have a infection means i am having some problem in my immune system or some physical occurrence has occurred to me okay the second thing is environment there are some environment factor which cause infection might be i ate somewhere from outside might be uh, i caught some flu which is uh, taken from outside and the health is i am not feeling well or i am feeling well this is called as a health and these three thing is experienced by a client now i am in a need of a nursing care so the fourth one meta paradigm which it's included that is called as a nursing the action which is given by a nurse or the attribute felt by the nurse so this comes under the nursing so there are four meta paradigm i think i have explained in so much of depth so the first one is person second is environment third is health and the fourth one is nursing so next comes the types of theories so uh, you can see in so many books there are different types of uh, my four to five types of theories they have mentioned the mainly if we talk about the main theories there are three types of theories the first one is grand theories which are by name itself says big theories okay the large theories and middle range theories in between the grand theories and the perspective theories and the third one is the perspective theories which talk about the practice theory whatever we are in usage that is a practice theory example of practice theory is nursing nightingale theory okay so the goals of theoretical nursing model very important whenever we are teaching the theories so the first one is we need to identify the domains and goal of nursing why we are providing this what are the domains what are the parts provide knowledge to improve the nursing administration practice education and research not only just we are talking about the one scope that is our practice we are other talking about other three scope these are administration these are education and the research also the research will expand the knowledge base of the nursing whatever we have a knowledge of nursing uh, base it is it is expanded when we do a researches and when we do create a theories next is develop curriculum plan for nursing education whatever the curriculum is coming if it is not suitable there is requirement of the change so this cause through the theories provide systemic structure structure and the rationale for nursing and whatever we are doing we need to have a valid rationale behind so who will provide this rationale the theories itself create a rationale now let's talk about the grand theories so grand theories by name itself i told you these are very broad but they are complex they are complex and theories at this level may both reflect and provide insight useful for practice but not designed for empirical testing it is like it will provide a testing okay so they are more abstract in nature and they are having a broad perspective and the example of these theories are orem's theory dorthorem's theory then royce 
नेक्स्ट इज मिडल रेंज थ्योरीज दीज आर नैरो इन स्कोप द स्कोप इज वेरी लेस एंड स्मॉल एंड इफेक्टिव ब्रिज बिटवीन सो इट अकर्स इन बिटवीन द ग्रैंड थ्योरीज एंड द नर्सिंग प्रैक्टिस थ्योरी विच आई एक्सप्लेन बिफोर एंड दे प्रेजेंट कंसेप्ट एंड प्रपोजिशन एट लोअर लेवल ऑफ एब्सट्रेक्शन द लेस एब्सट्रेक्टेशन एब्सट्रेक्टेशन एंड लेस स्पेसिफिक एंड या द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज न्यूमेंस थ्योरी एंड नेक्स्ट इज प्रैक्टिस थ्योरीज सो द प्रैक्टिस थ्योरीज मोस्ट लिमिटेड स्कोप दे आर वेरी लिमिटेड इन स्कोप एंड लेवल ऑफ एब्सट्रेक्शन इज ऑल्सो लेस बट दे आर मोर स्पेसिफिक range of nursing theory like they are more specific in some of the condition they are more in the practice to provide framework for a nursing intervention and predict outcome and impact of the nursing practice an example is nightingale theory so this is the one chart which you can use take a screenshot of this and then you can use it for your study purpose and yeah this will be helping you for the uh practical view of point of also like what is the difference between grand theories what is the difference between the middle range theory and the practice theories now the purposes of nursing theories it is somewhat related previously which we have talked about the very first is in academic discipline also it is very important because it will teach us the changes in the curriculum also it will provide a practice by positively influence the health and quality of life of patient okay the quality of life of a patient we can increase by providing a rationalized nursing care to define and describe nursing care guide nursing practice provide basis for the clinical decision so it will provide a base for the clinical decision where to think what not to think what to do what not to do will be told by the nursing theories so next topic is the interdisciplinary theory i told you when the nursing profession was not itself a profession or today also it's not that nursing theories just are basis of their own theories no we are dependent to the other theories also like pz theory okay so these theory will teach the human nature the psychology of a child and then we are applying our nursing theories so it is related to not only one theory they are taking it from other part also like from psychology we have taken like uh, from sociology also we have taken some of the theories so that we can put up into the nursing and then we can apply our nursing theory so it is very important to apply the other disciplinary theories also so this is what a small introduction of that some other theories we have seen like if the child is learning how the child development is occurring like eric erickson theories and uh, freud theories a bit freud theory so these theories will provide a base will tell us the what is occurring in the mind and how we can apply our nursing theories so next topic which comes is the selective nursing theory which we are going to talk about i know this video is going to be very long because we are going to cover the 10 hours class in this one so these are the images of a very famous uh, theorists these are nightingale is um, uh, uh, florence nightingale is there martha roser is there newman is there and uh, yeah so let's start with the first theory that is a florence nightingale theory so she is a founder of a modern nursing and pioneer of the environment theory so she itself gave a environmental theory and she defined nursing as the act of utilization the environment of a patient to assist him in his recovery so her concept of nursing was very easy to understand that whatever is in the environment of a patient or a client use that environment in the recovery of itself okay so she stated that nursing ought to signify the proper use of fresh air so in environment she has talked about air the air which she is take uh, the client is taking the proper light should be there there should be proper warm there should be a cleanliness the quiet environment proper selection of the diet is very important so she said that all at the least expense of vital part of the patient so these are the very less expensive things which we can provide to the client and identify five environmental on the basis of this uh, basic needs she identify the five uh, environmental factor the first is the fresh air second is pure water third is effective drainage fourth is cleanliness and sanitation and the last one is light or direct sunlight so she has mentioned these five things very important to learn what uh, whatever we are breathing that is air whatever we are drinking is a uh, pure water and the drainage should be very closed 
then the cleanliness should be maintained the sanitation should be proper and light or direct sunlight okay so the meta paradigm of nursing this theory has been defined i will be teaching in last images of this okay so let's go back so there are some assumptions which has been made so these assumptions are according to nightingale nursing is a separate from medicine so nightingale has started its own modern nursing she is a modern nursing theorist also so she has given a modern nursing concept also so she said that nursing is not a medicine part or it is a separate from medicine and the goal of nursing is to put the patient in the best possible condition in order to in order for nature to act so she said whatever the your client is there put it into the environment let the nature to act on it and recover the patient okay nightingale theory addresses disease on a literal level very literally she has explained that whatever the patient is not feeling comfort that is called as a disease so this is the patient who is in not in ease that is called as a dis ease or the patient who is not comfort that is feeling as a disease so a literally meaning has been given at that time and in 1859 she published her views on the nursing care in her own book that is called as the notes on nursing okay now the components the five components are light so she said direct sunlight should be there so at that time when she has given her concept there were very few rationally which has been provided and there was not scientific reason behind she has explained today we can explain about that so she said direct sunlight but she was not having any rationally okay sleep patient should never be awakened intentionally or unintentionally she said whispered about the patient is cruel nursing should stop the noise so we should not uh, she, we should always provide a nursing uh, sorry noise free environment nutrition variety of food present to the client enhance the appetite she said uh, we should not give only the single uh, diet daily so we should be change the diet so that the patient will feel like to have it okay air to keep the air her breath as pure as external air without chilling so we should provide air but we should not be provide a chilling air whatever is in the environment use that air okay and let the patient to feel refresh bedding should provide comfort dirty bedding are the source of infection so she said what when the patient is sleeping he should sleep on a good or clean bedding so that the uh, client will feel comfort okay so the nursing meta paradigm which has been given by the nursing um, uh, your, your flores nightingale is first is the person so who is a person the person is a people or a multi dimensional people composed of biological psychological social and spiritual component so she has explained that the person is a holistic view okay the biological psychological social and the spiritual component are included now second is what is environment so she said the poor or difficult environment led the person to get a disease so she said the environment could be altered to improve the condition so that the nature loss would allow healing to occur as this was the main uh, base of her uh, or assumption of her theory that and let the environment to work put the patient into the environment and let the environment to recover the patient okay so this was the environment according to her nursing uh, theory what is health she has defined health as health is not only to be well it's not just only to well but to be able to use well every part he or she have like disease is considered as a disease and absence of any comfort if the client is not feeling comfort and he is not easy, feeling the easiness or is in uneasiness then the health is not defined as a well so it is defined as a illness okay so then she has given her nursing uh, meta paradigm in that that nursing is different from medicine and the goal of nursing is to place a patient in the best possible condition for nature to act simply she has defined that medicine is totally a different profession than the nursing and put the patient into the environment and let the nature to act on it so this was the main concept of that nursing foundation uh, your florence nightingale theory so this is all about we have talk about the florence nightingale theory that is the first theory 
now comes the application it doesn't mean that we make the theories and we don't apply no the utilization of theory must be there so according to her theory the application is that patient are to be put in the best condition for nature to act on them and it is a responsibility of a nurse to reduce noise to relieve patient anxiety and to help them to sleep so this is a very important application that uh which is also made the this nursing theories to comes into the practice nursing theory or into the uh, perspective theory type of theory where we use this theory as per most of the nursing theories environmental adaptation remain the basis of holistic nursing care next we will talk about the virginia henderson theory and uh, yeah she is so cute to see also so she has given a nursing need theory and she is also uh, founded uh, or founded as a modern nursing nightingale in 20th century okay she is the she is called as a nightingale of 20th century because she has worked after her and uh, that time she they explain that the main theory they have talk about is the unique function of nurse they define that nurse is to assess the individual sick or well in the performance of those activity contributing to health or its activity uh, recovery that he would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength will or knowledge and to did they do this in such a way as to help him gain interdependence as rapidly as possible so i know again it is a very big thing let's break it and learn it so the she defined that the main function of a nurse is to assist the individual this individual can be a sick can be a well in performing their own activities which will help to regain their health or regain their comfort okay and once it is achieved then the client itself do his own uh, activities of daily living by own okay and let the nurse should provide a dependency or independency sorry independency so that he or she can gain the independency of doing their work by own so i know it is very confusing let's talk about in next slide so she has focused on 14 components the so 14 components she has mentioned these 14 components are so uh, when we she explained about this 14 concept she said this thing that there are any discomfort which occurring in this 14 concept then the client is into the condition of the requiring a nursing care so these 14 concepts were the first one is breathe normally eat and drink adequately eliminate body waste move and maintain desirable posture sleep and rest select suitable cloth dress and undress maintain body temperature within normal range by adjusting clothes and modifying the environment keep the body clean and well groomed and protect the integument avoid danger in the environment and avoid the injuries to others communicate with others in expressing emotion need fear or opinion worship according to one's faith walk in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment play or participate in various form of recreation learn discover or satisfy the curiosity that lead to normal development and health and use the available health so these are the 14 concept which is given by the uh, your virginia and uh, she has defined that these 14 concept which are like a basic care like not taking a breath eating and drinking removing the body waste move and maintain the postures sleep and rest so if the client is not perform able to perform this 14 components then the client is in the discomfort and then the client requires a nursing care so this is i'm telling you i'm just teaching for the bsc nursing first year so that they can have an idea what is the nursing theory what is the concept and how the meta paradigm occur so now the nursing meta paradigm which they have explained in their theories is that person who is a person a basic need that are the component of the health i told you a client itself who is able to perform the 14 concept that is called as a person and any person who is not able to perform this thing 
then becomes a client okay now environment environment she has explained according to her theories that setting in which an individual learn unique pattern of living okay so uh, provide this type of environment to the client so that the client itself perform their own activities and started learning the uh, unique pattern of living all external conditions and influences that affect the life and development individual in relation to the families so these are the environment which she has set up and she has defined the health as definition based on individuals ability to function independently as outlined in the 14 concept so i told you before also the person who is able to uh, follow or able to uh, have this 14 component that person is called as a healthy and nurse need to stress promotion of the health and prevention and cure of the disease and only the thing is nurse has to provide a more promotion and health and that is a primary prevention to this clients now nursing she has defined that when an individual who requires assistance or who lack the necessary strength will and knowledge to satisfy one or more than 14 basic needs if the client is not able to do even a one out of these 14 basic needs then the nurse will come and work assist and support the individual in life activities and the attainment of the independence which was very important assumption of her nurse serve to make patient complete whole or interdependent independent okay the nurse is expected to carry out physician therapeutic plan individualized care in the result is the result of nurses creativity in planning for care very important whatever the physician has ordered the therapeutic plan has to be carry out for the client in order to make a holistic care of a client i hope you understood this four meta paradigm of this virginia henderson theory if you didn't understood also no issues you can use these slides for your own study purpose and uh, video also and then you can put up the comment if you have any doubt the next theory is the hildegard Hildegard Peplow theory okay this is again become very famous theory at this time I am not going in details I am telling in the beginning also that this is just for the basic classes which I am going to teach if you want me to make a separate videos on the each and every theories I will do that also so this Peplow theory 1952 focus on the interpersonal process and therapeutic relationship that develop between the nurse and client so uh, she focused on that once the client is having any disease so interpersonal process between the client and the nurse in order to maintain a therapeutic relationship this type of relationship therapeutic means where they have a rationally of providing this therapy okay where they are having one goal set to recover the health this theory stress the importance of nurses ability to understand own behavior to help other identify perceived difficulty this theory is very important to uh, let let the client to feel itself because it's a relationship between the nurse and the client so client is independent over here and uh, nurse provide the ability by uh, nurses is provided with the ability that they should first learn themselves how there is own behavior and help them to identify their own behavior and what are the problems they are feeling it so they've explained the phases that is orientation o i e r and um, this you can also going to learn in the interpersonal relationship also that is a pwt that is a pre-interaction phase, orientation phase, identification phase and the termination phase. Okay, so these phases are explained in this theory. They said orientation. So that doesn't mean that orientation of the area. In this theory they have mentioned nurses and patient come together as a stranger. Yes, this is the first time when they are going to meet. So they become as a stranger. But meeting initiated by the patient who express a felt need but at this time client will say i'm having this this problem and they will tell the need what they want and then both of them work together and recognize clarify and define the fact related to that need 
that is very important phase in the orientation both are new to each other both are stranger to each other they come together and the felt need is told by the client and then they will ex work on the single goal the second is identification here the patient participation in the goal setting itself patient will be included in the goal setting like nurse can ask what is the problem to you so the when the client is saying that i am having this problem so they will set a goal okay now at this time period we will be dealing with something has feeling of belonging and selective response to those who can meet his or her need so very important here his or her need should be felt by the client itself then only they can work together on one particular goal then hai exploitation so in exploitation don't take it in a negative word so exploitation means exploring exploring something okay like uh, we are digging out from the down and to take out something okay so patient actively seek and draw knowledge and expertise of those who can help so here what will happen so uh, the patient itself will identify who can help me to do this who can help me to do this if i am not able to do thing how can i uh, use the things and the resolution is that once the exploitation is uh, reached what will happen they will completely work together and successfully they will be accomplish the goal this lead to the termination of the relation once the goal has been achieved this relation should not be taken at the home also this is what we are teaching to everyone that whatever whenever you are relation meeting a making a relationship with a patient please 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 avoid that relationship in your outside the workplace quit it over there only and the termination should be there okay and this lead to the termination of the relationship now the peplo theory uh, application we will be seeing in next slide so they say orientation phase like uh, we make a nursing care plan which we have a five parameter these are assessment nursing diagnosis planning implementation and evaluation which you can see one nursing care plan which i made over in the slide so they says the assessment is orientation phase in orientation phase we will ask the nurse will ask two things subjective matter and the objective matter okay the subjective also and objective matter. on the basis of that she will plan some nursing diagnosis and then identification phase the planning phase will occur here this planning phase is second phase that is the identification phase where goal setting was done okay you can read out this slide and uh, once you can complete this course then implementation is the exploitation phase means whatever you have planned out you need to apply it you need to apply it so that you can meet the goal okay and the last is evaluation phase that is called as a resolution phase or which we have talk about as a termination phase also so here once the goal has been met now uh, express that uh, now the things has been sorted out now they can terminate this relation and uh, so today we have uh, came to across what is the domains of the theory what itself the theory is called as what is the interpersonal relation uh, sorry your inter disciplinary theories and then we have talked about the three theories these are florence nightingale theory then we have talked about virginia anderson theory and the theory by the peplo okay so this is all about today's video and uh, yeah i'm i'm trying to improve my educational videos if 